So have you guys ever wondered why certain people tend to break through and why others don't? Well, I actually learned a long time ago that part of that is basically because certain people follow a certain trajectory. Well, that trajectory is what we're gonna talk about today. And as we do that, I want you to think about where you are in your life right now and where you wanna go. Because without that information, you're not gonna know what to do next. And that's why we're here, teach you life strategies at work. So let's jump on this. So I wanna go ahead and jump into step one. Step one is the call to transformation. It's that nudging, that tugging on your spirit, if you will, that says there's gotta be something more. I'm missing something. Well, most people don't actually take the time to answer that call. In fact, over 67% of the population ignore it, which is why they say stuck and begin with. Now, if you accept the call, the next step we're gonna run into is the awareness phase. The awareness phase is something that you gotta really lean into. It's actually the, the best place to actually spend the most time because when you become self-aware, then you're actually enabling yourself to understand your gifts, your talents, your attributes, and even some of your blind spots. Let's face it, your blind spots will bite you on your ankle every five minutes when you're not paying attention. So, self-awareness is key. You wanna make sure that you are getting completely self-aware. We've got lots of tools and resources that you can get from journeyprinciples.com to help you get there for sure. But in the meantime, I want you to focus on a couple different things. I want you to focus on getting really clear on what you do really well. What are your strengths? What are the things that your friends and your family tell you that come naturally or easy to you? What are those things? Are you really good at writing? Are you really good at speaking? Are you really good at logical thought? Are you really good at using aesthetic principles or aesthetic things in order to make sure that you actually can maybe paint or graphic design or anything of those natures? Those parts and pieces are elements of who you're supposed to be and who you're, how you're supposed to get there, all right? We also wanna get super clear on blind spots, okay? What are the areas that come really difficult to you, unfortunately? What are the areas that tend to bite you in the rear? What are the, some of the things that you actually walk through that actually, uh, for lack of a better word, unfortunately handcuff you a little bit? You know, for me, one of the things I used to get is I used to get easily angered and defensive anytime someone gave me any, or any kind of uh, criticism or constructive criticism at all. Well, that was actually holding me back. What are some of your blind spots? What are some of the things that you need to become aware of as you're kind of moving forward? right? Because once we go from the call, right, you actually accepted the call. Now you're ready to jump in there. Now you're ready to get the change. Now you're ready to take the next level. Becoming self-aware, right? The next thing is you got to learn a new way, right? A lot of times too, this is when the guide comes into the play. This is when all of a sudden you meet your Yoda. You meet the person or the people that are going to help you go from one step to the next step, right? Guides are pivotal and they teach you a better way. They do a few things. One, they hold you accountable, right? Now, don't mind me, I'm a little dyslexic, and I mean that literally, so if I misspell something, don't get mad at me, <laughs> right? They're gonna hold you accountable. They're gonna motivate you, okay? They're gonna empower you. They're gonna tell you the things that you're really good at, and they're gonna help you hone that skill. Think about the best athletes in the entire world. They have natural ability, natural gifts and strengths and talents, just like you do, but, they have a coach, they have someone that can actually help take them to the next level. You know, I'm always like to remind myself of Yoda a little bit. You know, Yoda's always, do or do not, there is no try, right? Same kind of deal, right? You gotta have someone in your corner that is rooting you on, but also helping you understand when things aren't really working, and then tell you and give you ideas and concepts in order to break free, right? So the next thing you're gonna happen after the growing is the growing phase. This is when you're actually taking all the information from the guide himself, from the guides, if you will, and the information that you've learned, and you're beginning to put it into practice. You're beginning to get the muscle memory down. As, as a good friend of mine joke around, it's, it's doing the push-ups. You know, you, it, you can't build a bigger chest without physically doing some push-ups, right? Same kind of deal, right? You can low, have all the information in the world, all the information, like you can have all the learning, but if you're not taking action, if you're not actually taking steps forward, nothing's gonna change. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. So how are you going to make it change, right? So you're going to get the information and the learning. You're going to then apply that to the growth process. You're going to create a skill set of a routine of active behaviors, right? So actual actions. You know, if I'm going to build a bigger chest, again, I'm going to do the push-ups. If I need to build bigger legs, I'm going to do the squats. If I need to change my financial life, I need to learn the principles and then I need to apply the principles. Because if I don't apply the principles, I'm never gonna get the financial uh, motivation or fortitude that I'm looking for. 
And I can promise you, some of this work will be tough, but I can also promise you it's worth it. You know, I didn't go from sleeping in my car to developing multi-million dollar businesses overnight. It was a time process, and this is the exact track record that took me there, okay? All right, think about this. You think about any hero whatsoever, any hero of any story, right? Doesn't matter if it's Yoda, doesn't matter if it's Gandalf, doesn't matter if it's Rainbow Bright, right? Whatever your hero that comes up in your head, each one of those heroes had a guide. That guide then took them through the process of growing and then into maturity, right? They finally know what to do with the information they've been given. They've now honed their, honed their own skills in such a way that makes it possible for them to start achieving things. In fact, at this stage, you're gonna start building some things called confidence. Confidence by definition is the easiest way to have repetitive behaviors that changes your outlook. You know, when you go from making $10,000 a year to $100,000 a year, you're more confident. When you go from making $100,000 a year to a million dollars a year, you're more confident. When you go from a million dollars a year to making $10 million a year, you're more confident. When you all of a sudden you have relationships that actually stand the test of time and then don't just fall apart at the last minute, then you have more confidence. Why? Because you're doing the right things, right? This is becoming mature. It's becoming mature in what you've learned. You've already done the, the muscle memory so much that it's now second nature. And as a result, you are now having a certain level of confidence, changes your outlook, and now you're getting things done, okay? Then my next process, my next favorite is actually emergence. The reason I'm so excited about emergence is because emergence is where freedom is found. You know, we've done all this extra work, all this extra work from, aware, uh, from answering the call to awareness, to learning, to growing, to maturity, and we've had a certain level of competency, a certain level of mastery has come with this. Right? We now, it's so now ingrained in our DNA and it's so part of our second nature that at emergence stage, now it becomes possible where you can actually pour into others. And let's face it, the whole reason about you changing your own life and mastering every area of your life, doesn't matter if it's relationships, your fitness, your finance, it doesn't matter, is so you can go and help the person you used to be. That's why I do this, right? I'm doing this to help you maximize who you are and who you're supposed to be and the direction you're gonna go in an effort to help you go out and change the lives of other people, right? I'm not a one-stop shop, nor do I wanna be. What I wanna be is I wanna be a catalyst for you to get the life that you want, right? Get the career you want, have the relationships you want, have the financial freedom that you want because it's awesome, all right? So, emergence is where freedom comes into play. It's that butterfly or that cocoon, if you will, of becoming going in from a cocoon to a butterfly and now being able to fly a little bit, right? You've already started seeing the results of all your hard work. You've already started re reaping a lot of all the seeds that you've sown over through this process, right? Emergence is the free place. It's the place where it's so, it's so natural, it's so ingrained. Now it's time to go and help some folks, right? Which takes us to the ne next level, mastery, right? Most people don't understand that the best way to achieve mastery is to get started, right? They spend so much time wondering what if, 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 that they never take the steps, right? I mentioned earlier that 67% of the population stay stuck here, right? Stuck, stuck, right? What if you kept moving forward because only 33% of the population moves on to step two, 15% here, step three, 12% here, growing. Maturity phase, it drops down to roughly 6% because there's a lot of personal change that happens right here. A lot of dying to old habits and a lot of dying to old belief systems. A lot of changing who you are at your core, right? And as you keep going, 3% all the way up to 1%. There's a reason why people are called the top 1%. So often it's because those are the people that did the work. Are you ready to do the work? Are you ready to win and win at every single area? Because when you reach mastery, you're unstoppable. You've already taught yourself all the steps you need, every single step you need to become unstoppable. So no matter what life throws at you, you can sidestep it, you can bust through it. You've got your way, you've got your design, you've got everything rolling for you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this little snapshot. This is the process. You cannot go from step one to step five. 
It does not work. I've tried it. And you may have too. One of the final things I want to make sure you understand is, and this is important, notice that we have length of time here. That's because you taking these steps can either be one year to five years, or it can be one year to 50 years. The choice is actually yours on how quickly you take ownership of your life, come back here often to learn as much information as we can give you, and actually put these things into practice. You matter, I wanna see you succeed. We'll see you next time. That's about all the time we have for today's whiteboard lesson. Hopefully I gave you some real value that you begin to put away right now. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna dig even deeper, I put together a free ebook called The Five Must Have Principles for a Personal Breakthrough. If your goal is to make change in any area of your life, these five principles are absolutely necessary if you want to make that progress lasting. You can access that by clicking the link in the description below this video. All right, you're up.